If we compare our Earth with our Sun, it will look like a tiny spot and if we place our Sun in front of another star UY Scuti, it will look like a tiny spot as well. But if we place UY Scuti in front of the largest known star, it will also look small. In the recent past UY Scuti was considered the largest known star to us. But now it has been replaced by another supergiant. Actually, UY Scuti was named as the largest known star, but due to some miscalculation in its distance, its size was also miscalculated. Now it is considered to be merely around 750 times larger than our Sun. An important question is that how do we measure the distance of stars and other galactic objects so far away? The first method is called the trigonometric parallax. For example, take your phone in your hand for taking a selfie and close your right eye and look at the phone. Then try looking at the phone by closing your left eye. It will look like that, phone has changed its position, while the background objects do not change the position. The same principle applies, when we look towards the sky. To see the change in the location of the stars, we look at their position over a period of few months, as the Earth changes its position in the orbit. For example we may observe the position of stars, in summer and in winter as well. It's just like looking with our left or right eye, with one of the eyes closed. But this method works, only for objects, not more than a few hundred or thousand light years away. Beyond our Milky Way, it is not feasible to track the distance with this method. The second method is the estimation of distance, with the help of brightness or luminosity of the star. If your friend is standing in front of you, with his cell phone and with cell phone's flashlight turned on. When he starts to go away from you, the brightness or luminosity of the cell phone, will also start to decrease. You know his distance and the brightness of flashlight as well. This is how we get, the distance of much distant objects. Supernovas also help us to know the distance of galaxies, billions of light years away as the supernova star outshine the entire galaxy when they explode. Currently Stevenson 218 is the largest known star to us, in terms of size and mass. It lies near the open cluster Stevenson 2. It is 20,000 light years away from our Earth. Although red supergiants are much cooler than the Sun, but yet they are so much large and highly luminous. Its radius is said to be around 2,150 times bigger than our Sun. Its volume corresponds, 10 billion times than our Sun. If it is placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf the orbit of Saturn. Can we see UY Scuti and Stevenson 218, with naked eyes? No, it is not possible. The first thing is that, they are too far away. The second thing is, location of for example, UY Scuti in the zone of avoidance. When viewing space from Earth, the attenuation, interstellar dust and stars in the plane of the Milky Way, the galactic plane, obstruct the view of around 20% of the extragalactic sky at visible wavelengths. As a result, optical galaxy catalogs are usually incomplete, close to the galactic plane. And these supergiants we know exist in the Milky Way itself. As there are countless galaxies exist in the universe we can probably never know the biggest ever star in the universe. 